There's been one thing on my mind since last episode, and that is killing a ladybug. I ended up crafting the insect hammer, so now I think it should be a bit easier to kill these guys. Um, we'll go try to search for one and see how much more damage I do with this than before. Let's try this out. And he knocks me back. That's a big stun. Nope! Almighty push! Okay, I was, thought I was blocking, but I guess not. He's stunned. Perfect block. Oh no! Your health all the way back up now? Probably, right? As long as I can block you like that, we're fine. Nope. All right, yep, I killed it. Perfect blocking. Getting the perfect blocks helps. And I got the ladybug head, so we can go make the ax now. Before we craft this ax, I do want to run over real quick and go turn the burgle chip in. I never made the weevil shield because I didn't kill weevils. Ooh, milk molar. And one of these things. This, morning, this is a mega. Okay, cool. So now we got some new buyables. So basically that red ant chip gives you fiber ba bandage efficiency, canteen upgrade, and buff lungs. I'm gonna go with the cookbook. How do I do this? Here it is, milk molars. I can have up to two active mutations with the mega milk, a mega milk, consumable stack size. We'll go with that for the milk molar. And then we'll also do, I think we're gonna do max stamina and then I'm gonna go get the other one down in the uh down in this little cave here, this ant cave. Get this milk muller. That's two for two on milk mullers today. Used them both up already. And we're gonna go max health. So now we got milk mullers that have helped us with our max health and stamina, so we're a little bit better here. Craft. Perfect. We now do not need this anymore we have this and throw it in the water that's where all of the all of our old items are gonna go is in the water i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the picnic table after this uh, i can't sleep for another like 20 minutes we're gonna go to the picnic table i'm gonna sleep and then i will run over to the picnic table we're gonna go ahead and start exploring a little bit more of like the mid-game stuff but i think i'm gonna make some aphid slippers first before we head that way so i can run a little faster all right, now we can make the aphid slippers, go to sleep, and then we we'll head over to in the direction of the picnic table. All right, we'll make our aphid slippers. Now we run a little faster. Uh, we will stop here real quick to grab one of these. Or actually, we'll grab all five of these. Give me what I want. Give me what I want! So now we'll have some mint shards to upgrade some of our stuff once we get to a certain level. But I think I'm gonna eat 10 of these. I think it gives me a mutation. If not, then I'm just wasting them, but we'll see. Cause this gives me 20, so I can try to eat 10. Maybe? Did it give me it? Fresh defense, perfect. So this gives me gas burn, or gas resistance, burn resistance, sizzle protection, okay. This side of the map is hell, from what I've noticed. Just always seems to be something ready to kill you and bigger than you. I got a pretty good run to get over here. Oh, you know what I'm missing? I'm missing the bomb. The egg. Ooh, I need an egg, a bomb to blow that up. Hopefully they don't get mad at me and want me to die. Cause getting out of here is not fun. Especially whenever you take the egg and piss off half the colony. I'm trying to remember where the eggs Ooh, are. Look shiny. Get this. Another one. Another one. I don't think they saw me. Let's see, is there any more down here? There's a ton of Billy Hog parts, though. 
Grab the ice cap. I can get some sturdy now. Because I got this. Research it, I think, before I can actually craft the bomb. I feel like there's more to this place, but I just... I don't want to test my luck in here, so I'm going to leave. Because they already were annoyed, annoyed with me the last time I came in here. So I doubt that it's a very smart idea to stick around there for very much longer. And I know from where I'm at, it's not too far from a research a field research station or whatever. Can I craft it though? That's the question. Let's go and analyze this and then I'm going to analyze the ladybug. I'm going to make mint arrows and then and then the ladybug head. So the brat burst takes fungal growth. The dry grass chunks will be no problem. It's the fungal growth that I think I'm going to have a problem with. All right, so we have our gas mask now. Should help us with our problem now in the smoke. All right, we got the gas mask, so we are heading back to the picnic table area to maybe get some of the infected stuff so we can make the bomb to get to the picnic table today. There's an infected ladybug over there, but I... I almost fell off. I need the infected larva. Can I get one of them up here by shooting it? Will he jump up here? Yep. Perfect. All right, come on. Come on, get up here. All right, he's stuck. And I blocked him. All right, he should be able to get back up here. Sounds like he's under the under the ground here. Let's just start poking him. And he'll attack. Nope. Block. All right, he's stunned, so I should be able to kill him. Oh, he can explode. Nope. Oh, nice. All right, we got him. That gave me two fungal growth. That's the exact amount that I needed to craft the bomb. Let's get this workbench down. Uh, sprig sap, grass chunk, which I'll just chop this one down. And sap. I just need two sap. All right, that's everything we need to make our workbench. So let me run back real quick. Craft this workbench up, craft that bomb, throw the bomb and get up on this picnic table to get out of the area of these deaths. These walking deaths, big spiders and stuff like that. Pretty, pretty hard to mess that up. Up the ladder, or up the uh, shovel we go. Now I know there's bees up here, sleeping bees. Hello there. They're not aggressive, so I'm not going to worry about them. All right, so getting over here is not too bad. I mean, these ants, these, these bees and the ants over here are not... I didn't think these were aggressive. I didn't know they were aggressive, actually. I had no clue. I thought the bees weren't aggressive. I didn't think you were aggressive, buddy. You proved me wrong. Pollen. I don't know what that does. Oh my god, I didn't know that they were aggressive. What is this? Are they aggressive at night or something? I guess that's good to know. Is there is there a reason why these ones are aggressive over here? Is it only during the night or... I don't see a bee over there. So I'm hoping I can just get up to the top and not have to deal with the bees. Just to get up here to get onto the table. How many feather pieces? Two? Three feather pieces, cool. Is this some gum? Two gum, I need a level two shovel, so I need the black ant parts to get that. There we go. So my first black ant part, perfect. And I'll also get this field station. So how do I get the shovel? Ooh, the simple bed. And I'll just... I'll do the nap just because it's there. How do I get the shovel? Why? I was gonna say, why do you... Why would you run off the side? There we go. There's the black ant shovel. So the head was what I needed for the black ant shovel. Okay, so... What do I need to craft the black ant shovel now? Two black ant mandibles. I can barely kill the babies. Or the little ones. What makes you think I can kill that? Milk molar. Maybe we wait a little bit before we come back over here because I, I need to be... I need to upgrade some weapons and stuff. I'm going to do a little research on a couple different weapons that I might be able to go and get or find the recipes to craft. I'm going to have to find something because I'm not doing damage. I'm not doing enough damage. So I have the crow crossbow, which... I could make this, which this does an absolute ton more damage than the nice. sprig bow. I have the red ant club, which does a decent amount of damage. The crossbow does more damage than the insect bow. And I think I might be crafting a black ant shield or maybe even the weevil shield 
just so I can at least block and do a little less, take a little less damage when I'm blocking. So I think I'm going to go ladybug. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and collect some berry leather. Um, go out and get those flower, the last few flowers that I need, the flower petals. All right, we should have all of the flower petals that we need. I got eight. That should be enough, plus the one that we had. That should be enough to craft the armor set. Now all that's left is getting the berry leather, so I'm gonna have to run to the hedge real quick and get some berries. All right, so we got 14 berry leather, or 14 berry chunks, so that'll give us uh, 14 berry leather, so we can head back to base, go ahead and craft up the armor, and I think... It will at least be somewhat stronger. No, you don't get to run away. You don't get to run away. Not after attacking me on purpose. And almost killing me too, man. This is just, everything is just so deadly. I'm not even on the hardest difficulty, which is crazy. This isn't even giving me health. I would say we're making some pretty good armor upgrades at least. Uh, I do need to get some weapons eventually. And I noticed something I also need to start using the mutations more. It's something that I'm not using. I need to use those more often if I would like to be able to do more damage and just use them, be more useful with them. So I do have the ladybug face mask that's built. So that's that's on. It does look quite menacing, but it gives me a lot of defense, a lot of resistance. Uh, block strength is increased and it's a heavy armor. Once we finish all this, I'll be back. All right, everybody. So the last point that y'all saw was I think I was looking at something in the inventory or I was trying to craft the crow crossbow or something along those lines. My computer crashed in the middle of the recording, which corrupted all the footage because I record an MP4. So you can't get anything back from that. So in that time, I've crafted all the ladybug armor, gotten a handful more ladybug parts. I've gotten a bunch of just random things. So I've killed a couple mosquitoes and you know, this bow is quite strong. Um, I didn't realize how strong it would be. I think it's been upgraded twice. I would prefer a larva, to be honest. Those things have always given me a run for my money because I just couldn't do damage to them. But now, ow, one shot and you're already hurt. Two shots, you're almost dead. Three shots and they are dead. They run for me at that point. So I am very happy with this. This bow does quite a bit of damage and it's only, I think, level two, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, level two upgrades. So imagine this thing at four or five or once I get to six where I can put the globs on it. I got sharpshooter. Perfect. There's a spider. I wonder how much damage I would do to it. Try me, bitch. To be honest, that thing would probably destroy me, though. And I only have five arrows, so I mean, I'm, I got the crow feathers. I've got more crow feathers, so I can go make some, but I only have five arrows for this thing right now because I just didn't have everything else that I needed to make it. I need to go back to base so I can craft the rest of the arrows. One of you guys by the name of C Stands gave me some pretty good advice on the orb weavers. Um, I didn't know that the orb weaver juniors are the only ones that do poison damage. So this whole time I'm sitting here thinking that the that they both do poison damage and that I'm avoiding both of them because they will both kill me no matter what. I'm over here wanting to fight a full sized orb weaver now. I probably shouldn't, but for the sake of content, you're going to watch me die a bunch of times probably. Or if I kill it, I just kill it and that's bragging rights. So we'll see what happens. But I think we should move because to be honest, this little spot here is just, it's its centralized, but honestly, it's not near any of the actual resources I need, like crow feathers and stuff like that. So I may, I may look into finding a new area to build in, but I'm going to get some sleep, craft some arrows, and then we're going to go fight a orb weaver real quick. Before we get too far into this, you know, ooh, there's a ladybug. I want to kill it. I will, I will just go ahead and thank you guys for all the support in the last couple videos. I was not expecting the amount of support I received. I am going to kill the ladybug. Oh, okay. Yes. So that's, that is so much different than the damage that I was taking before. The last couple times I had to worry about taking those hits, but now I've just tanked two from her. I'm still swinging and I, I'm not worried about taking more damage. And that's another dead ladybug. And I didn't even have to worry about that one. Yoink. Now I just feel invincible. I don't know where the charge was, but I was expecting a charge. Oh, I got Fairy Master 3. So I've maxed that mutation. Right. Yoink. Both of them dead. And I got another ladybug head. That right there just proves that the armor that I'm wearing does so much better. These should be good. So we're going to have Mite Loaf for breakfast. And now we're going to go find an orb weaver. 
there's a handful of them around here so we'll go ahead and just go over and take on one that's over here i think i just saw him go across that right there oh we're over here pick up some flowers how much damage i'm gonna do man but this is what i wanted to do nope oh it's stuck in the web gotcha bitch oh, I'm stuck. this isn't good Looks like we're going in with this. Okay, they're not as hard as they seem. But we got our first kill. I did not expect to kill it in the first the first go though. This guy would probably be a little different, honest. You can just kind of cheese the crossbow like this. Okay, just go in with it. Just hit him with this. Nope. If I, as long as I can dodge that attack, we should be fine. Okay. But these guys are actually a whole lot easier than they seem now. I was not expecting it to be that easy, to be honest. Get over here! Might as well take on everything now, since we're kind of like immortal. Nope. Get out of the air. You just, you just forgot you were mad at me. Get blocked. Stupid. Come on. Come over here. Come on, stupid. Oh, I'm nope. I missed. Not that time. <laughs> yeah, boy. Dummy. Nope. Now I'm just a little cocky. Block. You're dead. So we did it. We killed the big guys. So we can kill ladybugs. We can kill the spiders. I'm no longer scared of everything in the, gr in the yard. I think we need one more to prove our worthiness. Killed me a couple times today, actually. And boom. Shoot you in the head. I missed. Here it comes. Block. You know what? Enough of this. I can't hit him. Nope. No. Please. Oh, stupid. Yeah, Next episode, we are going to take this spear not the spear but the sword out and test this out and see how much damage this can do